So today what we're going to do is fix a screw hole that's been walled out. This is an old knob that goes on an antique hutch. This was made like in the 1920s or 30s. So it has a handmade screw that goes in here. So we don't want to replace that screw. We want it to look period. And what you really want to do is take this and fill it with glue. And then what we do is we use toothpicks to fill this hole in inside the glue. And what that does is when it sets up and hardens, the toothpicks give us the wood we need where a threaded screw can engage. So what will happen is this hole will hold two toothpicks. So that's what we'll do. We'll fill the hole with glue, put the toothpicks in. And then when it sets up good, we will cut off the toothpicks with the pliers and then we'll sand it down. And it'll be ready for our screw. So I'll show you how to do that. So what we did is took a little bit of waterproof wood glue, put on a piece of plastic here. So what we do is take a whole bunch of glue up and we put it in our hole. And then we'll set our first toothpick in there. Then what we'll do is we'll take the second toothpick, finish loading the hole, and put it in there. So what I've done is use the other toothpick to go ahead and load the hole. And what I'd like to do is tamp it up and down a little bit, and that way you get rid of all the air pockets. Then what I do is I take the second toothpick and put in there. And just work it around a little bit and see that they're in there now we'll let that set up overnight then we'll cut the toothpicks off sand it down and we'll be ready to thread the screw into it so that's how we fill screw holes that are wallet out so it's been 24 hours since I glued this and it's set up now and uh, one thing I like about using toothpicks is you can use a pair of diagonal cutters to trim and cut them. And once you're done with that, you can use a razor knife and sandpaper to clean this up. So what I'll do is go ahead and cut that off, clean it up, and then we'll be back. Now we got it cleaned up. You can actually see the two toothpicks in there and the clear glue around it. And... What you want to do is make sure you get enough toothpick in there because what happens is the toothpick allows screws to bite into the hole when you make it. And this is the antique screw I was going to reuse. So what we'll do is uh, re-thread this and then we'll put it back on the piece of furniture. So keep in mind this works for furniture, wood repairs, gun stocks. The uh, anything in wood that you're going to have a threaded wood screw in, this repair will work for it. I've used this to, to replace and repair a lot of sling swivels that people put on stocks incorrectly or they pulled the screw out. So keep this in mind. We'll see you on the next video.